The following podcast has been rated Listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. In the walkway, a poop. (laughs) 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 The womb nuke. Uh, I see a picture I do of me naked. <laughs> I'll tell you a picture of me naked, you'll love it. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host, Scooter McFuckstick. I'm going to go like that from here on out. Cool. I mean, uh, hey, man, whatever <laughs> makes you happy and hard. Yes. You know what I mean? That's right. Uh, uh, AKA Scotty German. But also, <laughs> as always, I am. Uh, I have two excellent stand up comedians. First, <laughs> I think best. we should give your address out. <laughs> yeah. I think First, it should be Scotty German. And one, not three. Stop. <laughs> First, he is the best DE hire of all time. Please welcome Mr. D-E-I. Jay. Whoa, JP. Oh, I like that one better. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't even know that was an option. Try that one again. Oh, that's way gayer. <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. That's badass. I love it. Man, yeah, it's from great. now on. That's the one I want. I know. And also, guys, he is the very funny uh, stand-up mm-hmm. comedian who actually does stand-up comedy and travels, and then has it at his bar. Yeah, please that's wel- true. Please that welcome back, true. Mr. Steve Peters. Yay! All right, here we go. This yeah. is, uh, right. this Good is for Steve. Be a fun day. <laughs> yeah. Fun day. Yeah. Well, if this is the very first time you've ever listened to a Laughing on the Sidelines podcast, this is a comedy podcast. We like to make very inappropriate mm-hmm. jokes about current events that are going on in sports and current events that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. This is also an adult podcast. We like to use foul language and offend people with very thin skin. So if you are one of those people, you are in the wrong place. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you and goodbye. Hey. And we're unmonetized. And we're we will not be on YouTube <laughs> yeah. anymore. That's fuck. all right. That's yeah, so apparently on. YouTube has decided to now penalize all like uh, channels that say a lot of cuss words. And so we are obviously one of those particular I think that's channels. Us. That's us. Yeah. Make, it, make, make inappropriate uh, jokes, all of that stuff. Yeah. Um, they are penalizing YouTube channels now for that. Uh, I'm very surprised we don't have any current strikes yet. Oh, so like the sh- the the channel is still up, but we just can't make money. Can't make any it. money. They're off like, of it. we'll show people. Oh yeah, but we're not gonna like it. Yeah. So anyways, <laughs> yeah, they'll make money off of it. Right. You just right. Won't. Yeah. They exactly. Don't fuck about yeah. us. But anyways, the best way to support the channel is to uh, go and subscribe. Also, leave a comment and a like. That helps grow the show. Please do that if you haven't already done that. Uh, I know there's lots of you out there, so please do that. That helps the show grow. Mm-hmm. Um, we're yeah. obviously going to be working on some other stuff in order to get monetized again. So. Crack that. sales are going to be in full effect. <laughs> <laughs> We're bringing back crack. Order your little nitro n- today. Yeah. New Jack City style podcast oh, after a while. my God. Why are they selling little nitros for $80 a piece? <laughs> See, you wouldn't want to be. Uh, oh, I want to be the whitest Nino Brown that ever lived. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, we've got to keep this thing alive. <laughs> we have an excellent episode for you guys today. We've got um, hot topics, hot topics, as we have, mm-hmm. uh, and that's when we get to try to derail the show as much as possible. Uh, we have never, have I ever, that's why I draw the line, questions and preguntas, a draft, and we always end the show with a shitty situation. But before we do that, we always like to start what's happened to us over the last week, Steve, a couple of weeks. And we call it our week, week recap. And as always, we're going to start with a very anticlimactic JP. How you been, buddy? I want the other sound. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say that's that's way better. And you can dance in your car to that very well. I did. There's right. just buttons everywhere. That's all. Uh, let's see. Fourth of July. I went yes. over to a friend's house. Everybody is here. Everybody has all their yeah. fingers and toes. Yeah, yeah. There you We're go. Good. good job. I uh, went over to a buddy's house. They were playing in a cornhole tournament out in Hayesville, and I got up and texted one of their wives and she was like i'm getting ready to head down that way i was like cool i'm gonna hop in the shower i'll meet you at your house and then we'll go over there by the time i got in the shower got down to hayesville and we're gonna go to the tournament 
they were already out. <laughs> they fucking suck. Oh, damn. Oh, man. So, That's brutal. So we just waited at the house for them to come home. And then we barbecued and played some games. And he just got a brand new massage chair. Ooh. Like a good one or like Dude, the, the, the shitty ones that you put in your car? Oh, fucking dollars. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Wow. It's brutal. Dude, it's Dude. like three Asian women. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what I figured it was. I figured they were just in a crate. Penny. You paid 8500 <laughs> right. for it. What was it? What was it that was supposed to be doing uh, Wayfair, right? They were supposed <laughs> yeah, to be trapped. Yeah, people. you pay 8500 <laughs> on Wayfair. You just get a crate full of Asian women. <laughs> yeah. So dude, and they massage you the whole oh, time. It's like, you're like, boom, boom. Amazing. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> He's like, try out my new massage chair. And I'm like, oh, that's cool, you know? Dude, yeah. like, it has little things for your arms and feet. I mean, it, like, stretches you. It, it's like a little freaking spaceship, man. Oh, God. And that's awesome. So I got done, and I got out of it, and I sat down on the couch for a minute. And Took I got care of up. your boner dude, first. <laughs> it was amazing. And I was like, man, what'd that run you? He was like, oh, right around 8,500. And I was like, well, never mind. I'll never have one of those. And then uh, we started playing this game called Crokinole. What the fuck is that? Crokinole, Crokinole, something like that. It's it's Canadian. Oh, naturally. But uh, So it sucks? So it's a board, and it's got... <laughs> No, dude, it's actually pretty fun. You know what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Look it up. No, Derek's I'm Canadian done. and he sucks too. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh-huh. But uh, it was a really fun poutine. fucking game, dude. <laughs> he is. He is. He really is. He sweats poutine. Yeah, he does. That's he true. Does. I've tasted I it. dip my French fries in him sometimes. <laughs> yep. Uh, okay, so now so, what's this fucking game? Uh, it's called Crokinole. Okay. They have championships. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a big deal, like in Canada. But it's a board, and it's got different zones, and then there's a hole in the middle, and you have these little pucks, and you put sand on the board. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what it is. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly. It's got little pegs around the... Yeah. Dude, it was fucking fun. Ah. It was pretty fun. We were pretty high and uh, (laughs) pretty drunk, but it was a lot of fun, and then... uh, Yesterday we celebrated Fourth of July with like my big friend group. Yeah, uh, we went out to his mom's out in El Dorado. They got fucking like thirty acres and a pool and fucking oh yeah, food and we just do it up. So it was a lot of fun. I didn't get home till like four this morning. Oh yeah, uh, so I'm dragging ass. But, love the uh, smell of black powder. It oh, was uh, good shit. Yeah, dude, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we blew most of the most. Honestly. I think we used more tannerite than we did fireworks. <laughs> That's the God's honest truth. My buddy, his son is uh, oh, yeah. his son's a marine and he builds ARs and oh, fucking, God. like the the kid is just amazing with guns. He's well, he's been around guns since he was like fucking mm-hmm. One month old. <laughs> My buddy's gun safe is seriously about as big as your. He baseball. came out with the conceal and carry yeah, license already yeah, intact. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. So you know he's he's fun and it man it was so much fun. Yeah. Just fucking going out there shooting fucking guns. That's and awesome. Blowing shit up and you know yeah. America, America, baby. Fuck yeah, America. <laughs> uh, let's see what else did I do? Did you? I mean, did you have like good food? Because that's like oh, a, yeah. that's a requirement oh, for Fourth yeah. of July. Well, they're all hunters too, so it was like. Like fucking deer Elk steaks and, and fucking, shit, yeah, yeah nice. dude, for real, yeah, for real, and, and hot dogs and mermaid and fucking panda bear and <laughs> yeah, man, uh, it was it was awesome. Mermaid, a little gamey, saltier, a little gamey, yeah. saltier than you think. Depending on where you get the meat from, it can be yeasty <laughs> right. too. Yes, those tails get nasty. Right. I'm not a mermaid guy myself. Merman, yeah, there you go. Style. There you go. It smells uh, it smells like the hot air coming out of the back of the exactly. PlayStation. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yummy. Yep. Uh, anyway. I think that's about it, though. Yeah. I mean, I was just here. I feel like, but uh, I guess it's it been was a week. Less. I guess it has yeah. been a week, but it's been great. We've been we've been able to uh, record episodes on Sunday, which makes it a lot easier for me, or just a lot more convenient for me. So, thank you guys for allowing us to do that. Mm-hmm. But that also means if anything crazy happens starting on Monday or Tuesday, it's not going to be on the show until so, next week. Yes, exactly. So you know, old news. Yeah. So, so um, I guess I'll go because I want Steve to be the crescendo because you've been away for a very long time. That's and true. It's been that's a of weird stories. thing to say to a guy that's sitting one microphone away <laughs> from me. You know what yeah. I mean? It's very weird. I'm the gay one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so obviously everybody had a great Fourth of July. I uh, I was very excited because 
um, my brother and I, uh, I, I have, I have got the gun bug bad as of recently. And what I mean by that, I, I mean, I, I legitimately have a gun safe that's on its way. It'll be here Wednesday. I have already been looking online for guns that I'm going to buy. So all of the money that I just recently got is now going away. Nice. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting, I, I've looked at a couple of AR 15s. I'm looking at also an AR 10, which I'm very excited about. I want an M one grand. And so uh, there goes my money. It's all gone. Dude, people in New York and California are listening to this like, was why, he fucking why? at the Capitol on yeah. January 6th? Like, <laughs> no. No. How can you just go buy a weapon of mass destruction? So it's kind of funny. One, I've got a Moab on the way. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, 300 blackouts on the way already, too. Welcome uh, but, to Kansas. But exactly. But here's the funny thing. One of my one of our really good friends uh, is who's in the process of moving, but they initially have, they. he's from like California lived in New York and then moved down to New Orleans and is now here. And he does not understand like, like my brother got me a a nine millimeter, um, my Springfield Hellcat that I always have on me. Yeah. And he's like, wait a minute. He just gave that to you. Did you have to register that? And I'm like, no, 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 that's how this works. Let's go to a gun (laughs) show, buddy. I'll show you something cool. Exactly. (laughs) You're going to love this. (laughs) (laughs) And I don't want to say he's scared of guns, but he's definitely one of those people that are just like, oh shit, is that thing going to just spontaneously go off? Yeah, that's what they do. (laughs) Dude, I was in, uh, 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 off topic, I was in Ramadi uh, in Iraq one time, and we were in an Iraqi police station, like obeyed police station or something like that and we were we were in kind of a team room i, I say it it was built out of fucking plywood like it wasn't even it, was just it wasn't a really actually a uh national geographic i think did a story on this police station that was only the hallway basically was all that was left it was just bombed out and so we had built like a detainee room and our team room out of plywood and we were getting all of our stuff off and all of a sudden we heard a pkm like a, a big machine gun belt fed machine gun crack off we we're like what the fuck so we came running out and uh the iraqis by the time we had gotten to that part of the deal um one of the iraqis because they have no fucking trigger discipline whatsoever <laughs> uh, he was like rocking back in one of those office chairs and he had a pkm between his legs oh, shit. and he started to fall backwards and just pulled the fucking trigger on the pkm and just went Bruh! like just wrapped off like three or four rounds and there's a fucking crater in the floor <laughs> the concrete floor and they set the PKM outside the police station, and they were all gathered around it, just looking at it, like, "How the fuck how did, did that, that just happen? happen?" Like it was the gun's fault for just going <laughs> off spontaneously. Sorry, that was the only spontaneous weapon firing. I oh ever my had. god! No, he obviously pulled the trigger somehow. The, well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> it's that's, not that's how how they so our the IP trucks we used to train the Iraqi police, and the trucks that they had, they had more bullet holes coming out of them <laughs> than they <laughs> had going in them because they'd lay their AKs on the seat and they would grab them by the trigger well and pull the trigger as they were pulling their fucking ak out oh. it was uh it was a wild deal man and People then watch them do jumping jacks your day is complete. <laughs> your day is fucking complete bro i promise oh man so yes that was that was our initial plan i've been seriously into guns as of as of late and so i was so excited and we were like all right well let's just go to the gun range absolutely i don't want to shoot go. off fireworks i want to go shoot guns that's what that, that, that's america you right have there a backyard you yeah. don't need to go to a gun yeah. range. <laughs> hey <laughs> His neighbors would love that. ATF, don't eh, come this and is the find time me. Of year they won't know. They're like, was that? <laughs> was that a no, gun? Or was that was, it? No. Yeah. Uh, but so we legitimately get locked and loaded. We end up going to Shields and spend lots of money on on ammo. Obviously, the cheapest place in town. <laughs> Hey, hey, man! Just to get ammo. That's oh, all. That we place just we is expensive. It is. Yeah, it's crazy. I think so, they just charge a shields fee on top probably. of everything. Yeah. Like, what's this thirty-seven dollars? Well, you are at Shields, sir. Yes, yeah, sir. Did so, you see our aquarium? <laughs> <laughs> There's a candy store in the bottom. Yeah, there is. Yeah. So we go and we get we get uh, ammo. Go home. Get all the guns that we want to go take to the to Rainier and shoot mm. for Fourth of July. And I shit you not, we legitimately pull into the goddamn parking lot 
there is nobody there. We well, yeah, it's closed. They're the closed. Of July, on Fourth of July. Shit. No, no, it's no. an America place. I what know. the fuck did you think was going to happen? But that is their sole job is to celebrate what is to be an American. So they which left is work and guns. did that. They celebrated their freedom by not being tied to work. So bummed out. <laughs> so well, bummed just out. Just go to a field. I can't It'll believe be that you thought they'd be open. I know. It, what I'm the a, fuck? Listen, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, We're both. Shields is open. They got to be open. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> That's exactly what I thought. I was like, oh, well, Shields is open. I mean, Jesus, Twin Peaks was closed as well. Yeah. I, and I'm, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? You're going to no shoot your titties, guns, no so you're going to shoot some skeet. Yeah. <laughs> no titties, no beer. So. That sucks, oh, dude. God. Yeah, but and so instead of going to the gun range, I did uh, the second most American thing, which is we sat down in uh, my brother's house and watched two movies. There are two movies that you are required to watch on the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Independence Day. Number one is Independence Day with Will Smith. Uh You cannot. Dude, I don't give a shit what anybody says. I didn't do it. That president speech at the very end of the movie when they're getting ready to go up and fight the aliens (laughs) is... Literally one well, of the best. That's the only pres- reason that we have the country we have. That's, now. But so it's, such a good fucking movie, uh, and yeah. So we had to watch that, and then we obviously we had to watch I'm Pilot. Sa- Sandlot. Unfly. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, <fly>. I'm Pilot. <laughs> Fuck, it's such oh, so it's so good. But then you also have to watch Sandlot. That's the other requirement. If you don't okay. watch Sandlot on the Fourth of July, you're an American. So I mean Sweet. that. All right. I mean that. That's, uh, so, uh, but yeah, other than that, that I was. I'm not American. I've never watched <laughs> the same on the 4th of July. It's I haven't right watched it in years. Yeah, you're killing me, Smalls, right, right there. All right. Uh, but That's yeah, that, uh, was, that was my 4th of July, that. And, and obviously, I, I've mentioned my dog, how he is deathly afraid of thunderstorms and fireworks. He's and actually just scared of the sandlot. It's <laughs> not yeah, fireworks. He hates you the sandlot. Stop fucking watching the sandlot on 4th of July. It'd be fine. <laughs> Dude, he was, we, he was so drugged up, and it did not matter. It was so bad. He he just gets anxiety so bad and then he starts destroying houses so yeah it was uh sounds like he's a rager a rough day yeah it was like, fuck i can't take it anymore let <laughs> rage he just has rage against the machine blasting in his 100%. ears all oh, yeah. day long oh yeah we even awesome. we even modified you, you can't do it. We, all right we even modified a tube sock so that way we could stretch we could stretch it out and put it over his ears because that's one of the things that they say that will help dogs with with severe i'm dead you serious. shouldn't have used the tube sock that you've been coming in for the <laughs> yeah, past two weeks i was gonna so say i think, I think he used the law the wrong yeah. tube sock but anyways that that was my week now we get to get to the guy who we haven't had on the show in quite a while please mr steve peters yeah so happy to finally have you back yeah yeah it's uh taking some coaxing last time i was here jp just kept grabbing my dick the whole time so i was like <laughs> nice oh, to have feel you very uncomfortable yes. nice to have you um well, it's been longer than a week. Yeah, uh, yeah. My wife got cancer. Yeah. Uh, she's going through chemo right now. Stage two hasn't spread. Looks good. That's good. Uh, it is 4.75 inches. Okay, so here's the butthole. And then you go up 4.75 inches. And there's a tumor that's been growing in there for, they said, between seven to ten years. Oh, yeah, and it turned into cancer like a year ago. So I did the only thing I could think to do, and I wrote a joke about that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was going to say something. And it kind of goes like this. Uh, my wife and I have been together for 13 years, and not one single time has she ever said yes to anal. <laughs> And this tumor has been growing for the past seven to ten years. All I'm saying is, is if if she would have said yes to, to anal, I would have felt the tumor <laughs> growing. And I could have it could have been an early warning device. Yeah. And then, but in her defense, I would have missed it by two inches. So, <laughs> right. so maybe black guy anal is safer than yes all right there you oh, go Jesus. i love it i love uh, it yeah also came up with the uh joke because she has to get a colostomy bag for a few months when she has this thing removed that that would be the only time i would eat her ass because <laughs> there's no poop um because it's in the bag <laughs> So if her butt stinks at that point, she's just lazy as fuck you know she's just a bad cleaner at that point oh, all right fuck Moving on. Uh, um, <laughs> moving on. Anyway, uh, I have been uh, cold plunging every single day since yeah. March in a 49 degree cold plunge yeah. that I built in my garage. Uh, it is called the Shrinking Peters Podcast because <laughs> uh, I'm trying to shrink down and get in better shape, which has been working, but I've been eating too much lately. So it's kind of like I got to fucking go back to the diet part of things. 
for some reason that helps lose weight yeah uh i thought it was a, just a lie but it's true it looks <laughs> like and i'm gonna have to start eating better uh i've been running a lot though so that's, that's good. good but uh yeah that's on my Steve Peters comedian page every day on Facebook. You yeah, and he's fast because <laughs> I can barely keep up. I do six minutes, uh, and it's a six-minute podcast. That's all it is. I just talk about news, basically. That's, That's good. That's, yeah, it's fun. But so. you've also been uh, having a whole bunch of comedy shows at Warshays. We didn't. Yes, we have. But it's summertime, and they have been shit, dude. It's really? just nobody's there. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's everybody goes on vacation, or they – you know, stay at home and they drink on their deck. Rather, the summertime wow. is the worst for for our bar for sure. So. We need to like do a do a night to where all of all of the laughing on the sidelines guys mm-hmm. go to Vorchez just and to, gals j- just They're to chill. To. Yeah, well, just yeah. to chill. I think that'd, that'd be, be all right. <laughs> All right, man. Don't, well, I think that'd be fun. Don't make me veto you off the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I don't Let's know. leave gals out of this, man. And the only the only other thing I've been doing is uh, just having total and complete faith uh, in our very capable, um, <laughs> very <laughs> capable, very cognizant. Cognizant uh, is a good word. Very, very able yes. president uh, that he will not get us into World War Three. <laughs> Uh, no matter what Raytheon says, <laughs> damn it. Uh, I'm sure that the government's not being run by the military and corporations right now with right. such a strong leader at the helm. Uh, I, uh, I mean, we, it just makes you want to move to Canada or something, you know? Uh, Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Well, that's that's a perfect uh, that's a perfect segue uh, to get into uh, <laughs> to hot topics, uh, and the main reason why yeah. is because we missed an opportunity, and that was having you on the show after the very vigorous debate that happened. Um, that was a good one. A, that was uh, that I, was and that I wanted, was hard to watch. I wanted your opinion on it because uh, you know I trust you. You're you're probably one of the more intelligent on this show. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've been at brunch this morning drinking mimosas. <laughs> <laughs> I smell like syrup right now. I had to. I literally had to get. I, I had to. Thought. No, dude, I had to wolf down my last waffle to get here in time, and I was still like three minutes late. And I was like, "Oh fuck!" And I slammed my last mimosa. Oh, so that's, that's your level of yep. Oh, that's so, what was that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we have a fuck button up yeah, on the show right here. The, it, it, fuck this. <laughs> is that Derek? <laughs> yeah, it did sound like Derek. It did. I think that's Derek right after the election I before he so. packs his yeah. bags and moves yeah. to Canada. Yeah, he is dual citizen already. Fuck this. <laughs> Uh, but no. I don't know. I mean, you, then you have Trudeau. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I mean, I guess there's advantages. You know, he digs blackface, you know, <laughs> and turbans. So that's maybe fun. I'm I don't shocked. know. I don't know. But like, I don't know very many Canadians. I mean, I'm, in all seriousness, yes, we do have Canadian listeners. And yes, I do like we you. do. We, we, yeah, yeah. I didn't know this was allowed to go over the border. <laughs> <laughs> the airways. Well, they don't like uh, any kind of media that talks bad about uh, Mr. Trudeau. Oh, he's um, such a douche, though. <laughs> he's a fucking douche nozzle. It's not even funny. Huh. But I don't know a single one of them that like that guy. You know what's crazy <laughs> about that is I read a little bit about him, and he was, like, super pro-gun and, like, all this shit. He, like, really... Really? Yeah, he went a way that's different fid- way. That's Fidel Castro's son. Oh, I don't know. It's a conspiracy theory, it but they say... Be. It could <laughs> he be. He looks uh, a lot like him. Yeah, that's... All right. <laughs> Just saying. In that case, I love him. <laughs> yeah, he's... Uh, he's Che Guevara fucking reincarnated. Oh, God. Who knows, yeah, but. yeah. Communism. Enjoy it. Yay. Yay. Uh, but no, so you you had the the uh, the privilege. Can of, we talk uh, about how wrong everybody was when it came to COVID <laughs> lockdown? All right, never mind. All right, let's just we're gonna. <laughs> God damn, Joe Rogan was right about everything again. He said in in two or twenty 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 Joe Biden was declining, and he didn't think his mental health was gonna stay there. And da da da. Everybody called him a fucking idiot, and then. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it's uh, you know. And it, all right. That's. Uh, but anyway, so what did you think? What did you, I mean, you had the privilege of watching that debate. Um, what, what did you think? It was embarrassing. <laughs> like, on a, on a really, really serious note, it was embarrassing. It was sad as fuck. Uh-huh. Like, it, it, I don't care what fucking 
you know party you're with or anything like that um that dude didn't belong on that stage yeah and he didn't i mean dude he was paraded around and and looked awful in front of the entire world it's, it, it's, it wasn't just the u.s that was watching that the no, entire no. world was watching that oh yeah and everybody. and it, you want to talk about russian collusion that never <laughs> happened that I, I think yeah Rogan was right about that too right anyway um <laughs> I, I don't know actually i just wanted to all right anyway um, uh, I, and I'm not trying to be like the ultra fucking right dude here or anything, but I mean, you, you kind of have to call a spade a spade after a while. Like, like this is not good, man. Yeah. Like, this is not good. Like, who the fuck is making decisions? That that's what, what I want to know. That's what I missed. The last same week. people that are making the decisions every time. Like I said, it's a lot the of Rothschilds, it is childs. The fucking it's corporations. It's, corporations, it's, it's lobbyists. It's, yeah, it's you know. I mean, I'm kind of surprised. I know this is going to sound weird. I'm kind of surprised Trump hasn't had an unfortunate accident. To be yeah. real honest with you, uh, I mean, you know, you want to you want to talk about there's still time. you want to talk about you know collusion and you oh, want to yeah. talk about rigging elections and things like that. The United States of America has rigged more fucking elections all across the world than any other country. I'm pretty sure this is true. And people, of course, are going to fuck with ours. I oh, mean, yeah. you can't expect them not to. Mm-hmm. Um, do I think that Trump is a, is a Russian plant? Like I just thought, <laughs> I always thought that was ridiculous from the get go. I still think it's ridiculous now. Yeah, but I'm not a Trump fan either. So that's where I'm <laughs> so fucked because yeah. I'm like, fuck that guy. I can't stand that guy. Yeah. But then I like I genuinely felt bad. Yeah, I did. Like if I that did was too. my grandfather or that was my yes. dad or anything like that, that genuinely felt bad. Like yes. I, I just compassionate. Like just basic human compassion. Yeah. That's not cool. I, that's I, not fucking cool at all. I, it's I, really not. I can't stand politicians, period. Uh, yeah, right. I agree. And I legitimately felt terrible for him because that, that party would basically just propped him up there and Of course. And, and yeah. just injected him with the most fucked up cocktails. He had so to be on the What meth. happened to state of <laughs> The union by <laughs> that's what i thought i thought all right they're gonna fucking get an iv of adderall going into this motherfucker for the first for five days before this debate he's gonna come out there dancing in front of the fucking podium he's gonna be the sharpest we've ever seen him yeah. and then we're still fucked in the long run yeah if somebody dropped the fucking ball on that. <laughs> find the fucking doctor. They couldn't find him at the last minute or something. Like, yeah. shoot him up with some adrenaline. Give the dude something. Oh, they had to have given or him just, something. How about this? Let him just go be an old man. And yeah. Enjoy what he has left. I know. You know? Like, I don't know. He seems to be enjoying himself, though. <laughs> he is always I don't smiling, know that dude. He is. <laughs> I think everybody around him is having a great time. I, I, but I, I don't I, know that he is. Oh, man. He looks like He does like ice cream. I can't. I, I, I tell you what. Bubble gum. Did you see his wife like the day she's afterwards? She's a piece of shit, dude. Oh, man. She's a fucking piece of shit. Oh, God. Like, she's. Th- dude, that's. Th- yeah. No. That, you, I, you shouldn't. Mm. I think that's who's running the country. <laughs> I don't. I'm I don't think that's saying. who's running the country, but I think she's very complicit in uh-huh. him. No, oh yeah. I mean, it's dude. He shit his pants on stage. You can't tell me that he didn't. <laughs> Everybody saw the video. <laughs> he leaned over like a toddler and just went. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, dude. It's. I mean, come on, man. At some point, like, this the, isn't funny. This the, isn't ve- funny. the veterans behind him yeah. saw it happen. Their yeah. faces were like, yeah. oh no. Yeah. Yeah, uh, dude, so bad. It's just bad. Like, yeah. can we get anybody under fucking eighty to <laughs> I, run? I agree. Like, why can't we get somebody in their fifties? I agree. You know what I mean? I'm right there with you. But hey, you know what? This is and, what and we got. why? Why are these two of the? These are like some of the oldest like parties in history, right? Like they've yeah. been like both Republican and and uh, yeah. Democrat have been in there for decades. Oh I mean, yeah, decades and decades and decades and decades. Like why can't we get any new blood? Like, I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's the way the going system's on. set up, man. That's how it's going to be. That's wild. So yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, let's start it off with that. Uh, by the way, I'm running yeah. for president. So uh, <laughs> you got yeah, my vote, sir. Yeah, yes, right. sir. That's, uh, I love a good redhead. I yeah, do. There we go. That's uh, something we've been missing. I think <laughs> in all this. And I uh, do not feel sad <laughs> at all. Uh, I love my life right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all of my guns are uh, kept nice and stuff like that in a safe yeah. i do not handle them in a weird way <laughs> uh, my brake lines are fine i've checked them many oh, times sure. hillary this is for you uh no one wants to rob me and not take anything and shoot me in the back of the head and call it suicide they're mr sewer Seth. slide sewer slide yeah you gotta say yeah. it like that so uh fuck you uh anyway yeah, that's i don't know man. It, it's it, it it is it is embarrassing I miss, like it really is the whole thing I, like not not just biden uh, but the whole the fucking whole thing. shit show is just embarrassing i've it missed really is. i've missed you very much steve i really I have. love you sir uh, but yeah we're gonna, we're oh gonna god this is going the way i thought it was gonna go thank you <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. Okay. Tell each other you love each other again. That was hot. I love did you. The, did the oh. camera just say FBI is tagged in? <laughs> yeah. What? All right. NSA now, too? What the oh fuck? This is wild. Wow. We're wow. getting all kinds of new listeners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The ATF got on here right oh, when we kicked this bitch hey, off. All right. Let yeah. me bury myself a little bit further while we're at it here. Uh, I am yeah. uh, competing in the tactical games. Oh, nice. Uh, July... 12th, 13th, and 14th. Oh, you're fucking serious. In Searsboro, Iowa. That's next weekend. I think Peter Haverkamp is... Uh, he. When is it? Next weekend. Can I go? You can go if you want to. Are care. you flying? No. I'll, driving. I'll go, I might seriously take you up. I just want to go watch. Yeah. I, I would think yeah. that, that sounds so much fun. It's badass. He's oh, probably going to pull his dick out. Oh. <laughs> just so you know. Oh. Like, it seems uh, like he I'm might. so happy e- right now. Everybody, everybody is like, what the fuck is that? And I don't know how more people don't know about it. It's actually pretty cool. Um, oh, it's kind of like SWAT competitions or whatever, but yeah. it's just a lot of uh, CrossFit and then a lot of shooting. Yeah. And so I sent it to a buddy of mine. That was our Bearcat driver in Baghdad. And, he, dude, he's such a fucking asshole. <laughs> anyway, but he lives in Iowa, so I was telling him why I'm coming up there. I'm going to stay at his house one night. And so um, he found the one picture of a dude driving a Bearcat in these competitions. He's like, you fucking piece of shit. This is from your ERT days in Baghdad. I was like, yeah, you're the only Bearcat driver I love. And I sent him back a picture of him driving our Bearcat. Nice. Dude. So. It's been oh, fun. I'm so it's excited. How long is the drive? You know how, how long of a drive? Six hours. Oh, that ain't nothing. Yeah, it's not bad. Okay, not yeah. Bad. You might have a friend going with you there, buddy. I like it. Yep. I uh, like it. But, but anyways, we're going we're to obviously move on to... Yeah, who's the friend? <laughs> <laughs> I was I, figuring it'd be Derek. Okay, oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I hope you let him it's sit in the much, front. <laughs> well, it's that much closer to Canada, yeah. you know? So uh, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah, might we're, be. We would actually start. Be, we would be closer to being Canadian citizens than him. So that's... <laughs> uh, moving on, I wanted to bring this up because I thought it was really funny. Does um, anyone know what we're oh, talking about, by the way? You said no. you've... Oh, all right. No, they don't. Mind. They Fuck. don't. All right. That's okay. Uh, weird weird uh, inside joke. There, naturally, because Sorry. naturally because 4th of July happened, um, I, I thought it only, uh, you know, we have to bring this up. Uh, did you know that um, on the January 1st, uh, mm-hmm. so on New Year's Day mm-hmm. of this year, mm-hmm. um, a, a company in, uh, I can't pronounce it, anyways, in Japan, they made history because they launched the largest firework. Did you hear about that? Oh, that's awesome. That I is did a, not hear about that. That that's is a mistake. A missile. It was, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I think that's called. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, the, <laughs> the, the largest firework ever made definitely did happen in Japan. Mm-hmm. But they yeah, were, it was Nagasaki. Yeah, I was going to say, that was several years ago. <laughs> that yeah. was Hiroshima yeah. and Nagasaki. Yeah. yeah. And I think it was, what, uh, Little Boy and Fat Man. Yeah. I think that's yep. what, they, what they were. 1944, right? Yeah, those are the biggest fireworks. But, hey, you got close. But I at least wanted to give them a shout out. For trying. For trying. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The U.S. wins again. <laughs> That's right. Oh, man. Um, uh, next thing, moving on. Obviously, 4th of July, they always have the hot dog eating competition. So gross, it's dude. So, so fucking gross. <laughs> I cannot watch that. It makes me want to puke. It's, like, I they dip either. that shit in water. Oh, and it's just flying dude, everywhere. Just, uh, There's just fucking so shit gross. flying everywhere, dude. So gross. It's yeah. So nasty. Uh, but I don't know why that's even a thing. I don't either. It's it been so customary nasty. for like 100 years. Years and America, yeah, it's Ugh, it's Nathan's gross. hot dogs, and that's yeah. whatever. Well, yes, but there yeah. was one person missing from that competition. Yeah, yeah. The, the main dude, Joey Chestnut, Joey because Chestnut. he decided to rep pussy meat or whatever you Hebrew call it. National, <laughs> no, he reps uh, he uh, reps uh, vegetarian fake oh, meat yeah. Uh, yeah. beyond beyond burger or beyond hot dogs. Yeah. I think is what it was called. Yeah, uh, they said, all right, you can go fuck yourself, Mister <laughs> Chestnut. <laughs> You're not going to eat our all beef delicious dogs because you're fucking repping soy dogs. Yeah. So. No, thank you. Which I think is kind of an odd flex I for the hot dog <laughs> eating contest. Like, I don't know. That was a little like, I, agree. I don't know. I feel like there was some bad blood there already. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, Big hot dogs got involved. <laughs> I think next month they're going to storm the Nathan's Hot Dogs <laughs> uh, <laughs> Corporation. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh, that's so! I funny. love it. That's great. Mickey Sudo was uh, a fem- a female co- a competitor, but she broke the record and ate fifty one hot dogs in one sitting. 
to claim her tenth. Uh, Does anybody have her number? Amateur. <laughs> Amateur. Yeah. Fifty one. I can yeah, do that. JP does that on a Tuesday. Yeah, what the fuck? Let me break something down just, to you. That's practice. That chick has no gag reflex whatsoever. No, she sounds like a nice broad. <laughs> <laughs> Love to meet her. She's Asian. That's even better, dude. She, 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 In that dude, case, she, you should pop on Wayfair real quick. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. She, she works for the company that shot that large firework. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know that for sure. But anyways, congratulations to her as well. But he's so, not ruling it out. He said he doesn't know for sure, but he's not ruling it out. I'm not ruling it out. Definitely I not. i look her up. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just going to tell you, buddy. It's not. Don't do it. It's not worth. I mean, you can, but nah, gonna I'm be, out. You're going to be disappointed. She tenth her tenth championship or hot dog eating She's contest. Got some chompers on her. Yeah. <laughs> she ate fifty one hot dogs. Do you yeah, think she's uh, gonna be? Oh, she's kind of hot right there. Let's side profile. That's pretty hot. Uh, but yeah. up up close and personal, she's yo yikes. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. no, thank you. I'm nah, she's not. No, look right there. She's well. Oh, she's got a little. What is that? Is she <laughs> hot dogs. That's what that is. She's not pregnant right now? No. Are we sure? <laughs> yes. Dude, that looks like a baby bone. No. You're gonna, I'm sending this to Scotty. Yes. I think everybody has to weigh in on this. Yeah, I think so, too. I'm going to put it on the episode, yeah, and you're going to let us know look. whether or not you think it is because she just ate a shitload of hot dogs, or it's because somebody knocked her I mean, she does have the Nathan's belt with her right there yeah. on her. Right. Yeah. But dude, she's in a blue dress. That looks like that she's is, there's no way. That is a damn she's pregnant. That is a damn good question though. Oh, look at this one. He's rubbing her belly right yeah. there. Way to go. Way to eat all the hot dogs. Oh god. Yeah. Is that Is that the guy that's banging her? <laughs> Maybe. He looks like he's Danish or something. Well, that's weird. I don't think she would let anybody just touch her belly. Oh, look at that. There's a little baby hot dog. His uh, name is Nathan. His name is <laughs> they, Nathan. Named, they named the baby Nathan. Okay, well. Well, all right. Never all right. Mind. She was fucking pregnant, dude. I'm, <laughs> yes, one point for Steve for not being wrong about a fat chick being pregnant. That's so dope, dude. Yeah, That's a win. I, I really went out on a limb there. I was what? like, ooh, is that just a lot of hot dogs? Do you or? think it's it's possible at any way that, that uh, Lizzo is pregnant all the time? No. <laughs> okay. No. Uh, Can unless we she just has like a, leave Lizzo alone? Unless she has like a bunch of spiders in there or something oh just waiting to come out. Oh, that's I don't disgusting. Know. Oh, man. That's, I was a backup dancer for oh, Lizzo. And then, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you were. Dude, after Lizzo forced her backup dancers to eat hot dogs coming out of dirty sex worker vaginas, that I was, was like, all right, all bets are off, you fat bitch. <laughs> yeah. After that, it was it was over. That was a if you, you can just you can be was that a, true? Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah, no. Yeah. There's like videos and stuff. You can be a decent person and be a bigger person, or whatever, and I won't fuck with you at all. But if you're a piece of shit, mm -hmm. that's the first place I'm going. You <laughs> fat fuck. <laughs> so I don't know. All those so. people that are complaining and making TikToks because they they have to pay for two seats on an airplane. Here's what I think <laughs> is hilarious. How the fuck does she, because all of her backup dancers are big old broads too. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. <laughs> Like, yeah. how do you keep them big and keep them active? You feed them you hot know? dogs. Ask a farmer. Yeah. You feed them cow food that's fucking laced with fucking all kinds of fucking R -B -S -G. fat. RBSG. Dude, that is the most passive-aggressive bullshit I've ever seen. Do you see that on cheese? Yeah. It's like, well, it's, it's said that RBST won't affect you, yeah. but because you're a bitch, we're not putting it in our cheese. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like that little warning yeah. label. It's like... yeah. We're just doing this because we, you know. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. And last thing I was going to bring up, because it uh, absolutely terrifies the fuck out of me. Okay. There have been multiple people injured after shark attacks in Texas and in Florida that just happened over this last week. Man. Right in time for Shark Week on Discovery Channel, motherfuckers. Fantastic. Fuck that. Fuck that. Man. Like, there are, there are videos of how many sharks that there are that are coming up in the Gulf yeah. Coast and on the other side. Oh, fuck that shit. Oh, you mean I am the fucking out, huh? You mean the Atlantic? Yeah, coast side, coast oh. side and Gulf side. They're coming up, Dude, and there's a shitload of them. If if we could go to Florida, I've got friends that live in Florida. Mm -hmm. We can we can stay at their house. We're going to take you out and put you in a shark cage, dude. But absolutely not. Would you Absol do it? No. Come on. No. Have you seen the... Have Would you, seen you do the, it, dude? No. Come on. No. Come on. You so don't was, understand. I do. No. And that's why it would be so fucking funny. <laughs> Just throw Scotty in there like a little meat morsel. <laughs> yeah, All right. No. So... Accidentally this, leave the top open. So this happened on the 4th of July? <laughs> yeah, this there was like uh, four attacks just on the 4th of July. You know what, that is. Of July. You what? Know that is? The sharks have their own hot dog eating contest. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just have to go to the beach and find the participants. Oh God, that's just so. It, it, it's it's obvious. I mean, a lot of people used to say all the time that shark attacks happen because of mistaken identity, because they the surfboards and shit like that. Yeah, because sharks this are is, actually this is they not troll a mistaken for food. Yeah, they're not, yeah, they're not. This like, is I not a mistake. They were just, like meat eaters, like they would only yeah. go after these are these are these, fucking these are, these are they're, they're like bred. trash fish oh, yeah. kind of. <laughs> Yeah, this is Bruce, and he's waiting for me to go out and get yeah. in that fucking water, and then just uh, I'm, I'm a goner. Mm. It's so it's seriously scares the absolute shit out of me. And I know, I know, there's people yeah. out there. It's like, come the fuck. What's on. that shark movie about with fucking LL Cool J in it? And fucking uh, that's Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, do you watch that with all the lights off and get scared? <laughs> I, I if it's a good shark movie I've seen it and, yeah. and there is a level of ter- I have like have you ever seen uh, oh it's the one with the reef what the one uh, what the uh, in the shallows the shallows have you seen that one no holy fuck I watch comedy movies oh, I don't watch shit yeah. like this oh, like, man. Don't, it makes me sad and then there's <laughs> th- th- then there's like sick demented people that go like every year this one like drive-in movie theater but it's not a drive-in it's they actually in a water Jaws. and yeah. they watch Jaws I've fuck seen that you. yeah fuck my you. buddy said that he wanted to do that in my pool put up a big projector yeah. and watch yeah. Jaws at night while we were in my pool. I was like, go fuck yourself, dude. I'm not scared no. of sharks in my pool right no. now. I would be. Yeah. That's what's fucked up is mm-hmm. I would be. I, I'm yep. not even kidding. We're going to need uh, a bigger boat. So scary. Okay, but yeah. That is all of the current events that I have for hot topics. Do you guys have any that you wanted to bring up? I don't how about the bowling scene, uh, Mr. JP? Is there any, like... It's the off season. It, oh, it's, <clears throat> damn. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, that's more of a winter thing, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah. Is there's it really? a, Well, I mean, there's regionals and shit right now. Uh, like, mirrors not, the hockey schedule. Like the PBA is not... They're not bowling. Oh, anymore. I do have one thing that I did that I'm very ashamed of. Oh, I can't wait to hear <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I got super drunk a few days ago, and... Um, I, so I forgot that I had money on my little uh, DraftKings account because oh, I, I had bet I had bet during the Stanley Cup, and then I'm like, well, the, after hockey, there's no real sports on. It's not like baseball's a sport. Hey, shut so up. I fucking so I was like, all right, I, I didn't mess with it at all, and I got drunk last Saturday with a friend of mine, and uh, he was like, dude, I got tickets to the Arrowhead Uruguay and USA soccer match. Oh and I was God. Like, I've never been to one of those, but I fucking hate soccer, so let's go. <laughs> and uh, he's like, yeah. I was like, dude, I think I have money on my DraftKings account. So we looked it up, and I was like, there's no way USA is going to win. And he was like, I think you're right. And so I bet the $211 that I had on Uruguay. <laughs> I feel like such a piece of shit, dude. I, but I did try and find a Uruguay shirt to wear up there. <laughs> and I thought it was in Africa. <laughs> it's no. not, dude. It's totally in South America. South America. I didn't even know that. It's basically America. Yeah. So I was like, oh, oh, fuck. And then so sober me was like, do I have to root these fucking idiots on? And then they had the dirtiest dude. They should have never won that game ever. I don't know who paid the ref off. It just wasn't me. I just want to put that out there. But okay, how much? Did you, so, but you won the bet because USA lost, didn't they? I mean, I didn't feel too bad the next day when I deposited seven hundred and fifteen dollars yeah. in my yeah, right. account. So yeah. I was like, yeah, all right, I, all right. Sorry, you're out, U.S. <sighs> men's national team, but. Yeah. Better luck next time. Better luck. All right. Next sorry, time. that no, was my. Uh, I just remembered fine. that. For, Perfectly. It fine. was a sports story. So uh, hey, that's good. Um, okay. But now we get to move on to the fun parts of the show. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you, everybody. Monday Fun Day. I sincerely do appreciate everybody participating. We've got a lot of good ones that were suggested. A lot of questions. You mm-hmm. say that almost every week, and it's these, almost never true. These were good. I'm sorry, <laughs> but these all of these were good. He does. He says it every week. I don't care. These were good. <clears throat> there, and I know, th- like, this is how I legitimately write the episode. On I, wa- I write it on Saturday. So for those of you that don't know, but I like find all of the ones that are good and just end up taking them in and putting them out and pick- picking the best ones. And this week it was fucking hard. That's why they <laughs> suck because you're picking the best ones. And that makes p- complete sense now. Hey, I got an idea. If you have something that you want to put on, say hey, just text Scotty. Be like, hey, I want that one. That seems like a lot. I want that. One. Yeah, I don't want to read through. Yeah, that seems like a lot. <laughs> I just would rather give you yeah. shit about picking the wrong one. Right. Correct. <laughs> it's like it's like reading the fucking headline and then bitching about the entire story without <laughs> yeah. having any fucking idea what you're talking about. That's uh, 
Good That's stuff. my favorite Thanks. pastime. Thanks, all of you, media. for participating in Monday Fun Day. I really appreciate <laughs> it. Apparently, you guys had great <laughs> suggestions. Scotty just didn't pick any of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of good ones. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna start off with Never Have I Ever. Yeah. The first one is gonna come in from Austin Boreen. Fuck he yeah. wants to know. I feel attacked. <laughs> He wants who's, to know. Who's Austin Marine? Austin is just a, he's a listener. Oh. He's just a good wait listener. I just question. didn't know why he was attacking Wait till you hear the question. Oh, oh. Wait, wait till you hear oh. the question. Oh, yeah, I guess I have it here in front of me. I could have read it. Austin Marine wants to know, never have I ever had to tell my significant other I have an STD. Oh. I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. No, you just keep fucking. You don't tell them. You just keep going. I don't know where those okay. things that, came from. But the one that JP carries around legitimately could kill you. Oh, so to be fair, <laughs> to be fair, you have monkey pox. <laughs> he found out before I did. <laughs> he found out before I did. Oh, uh, so fuck. I don't know if it came from me or him. Oh, my God. But I'm guessing me <laughs> just because of the way I live my life. Because you know how you do it. Right. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was a couple shots in the ass and <laughs> oh, one in the heart. Oh, my uh, God. Yeah. I think the ones in the ass did it to you. He, stay, he stayed with me for like another four years before he dumped me. Before so, he died. Yeah, no. <laughs> I don't have anything that'll kill you. Come on, man. That's rude. I don't have the AIDS. I don't have the herpes. No, no, no. It's just HIV. It yeah, hasn't turned HIV. into AIDS. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> What is that stuff called? I don't know. Oh, fuck. Big Tarvey. Oh, and uh, rest in peace, and JP's Tarvey. ex. But yeah, man. Uh, That's awesome. <laughs> well, so that has actually happened. I you. never have had to do that. I've never had an STD. No. Oh, wow. I, ne- I, I know. I, well, you're not living right. I know. I try and... Uh, okay, I, try and screen. I do a pap smear before I bang Smart. a new one every time. Does I mean, HPV, does that count? Yeah. I don't know yeah, what that is. Sure. I, I had that. I guess I'm a carrier. I had no idea. Really? I, yeah, you don't. So. The minute I saw you, I knew you were a carrier. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, great, great question. Great there. question, Austin. Go it. fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Austin. <laughs> Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, next one comes in from this should, Austin. Oh. Should have followed that up with <laughs> I had to tell <laughs> such and such, and then what STD it was. No, because, it rhymes with because gonorrhea. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody that's not somebody that's not with experience in that didn't just come uh, up with that question. He's right. Like, this happened like last week. He's like, oh, I want to know if it happened fuck. to him or it was him. <laughs> yeah. No. Like, yeah. Anyways, uh, next. I think he was just like, looking for honey. <laughs> yeah. I think you read this wrong. I think he was just figuring out ways to <laughs> tell <laughs> your significant yeah. other you have an STD. Right. Absolutely. All right. Anyways, uh, next one comes in from William Morrow. Um, mm-hmm. He is our um, listener who is, uh, I believe, in a wheelchair. Cool fucking guy. Good sense of humor. Uh, Sweet. He, he wants to know. Never have I ever given a fake name to someone. I okay, have. so I can we just uh, verify this real quick? Um, when Meals I read, on Wheels when was I read, his yes, okay. When I read William Morrow Meals on Wheels, I was like, why would you give a fake name to Meals on Wheels? <laughs> like, if you're delivering or receiving them, I don't understand. Like, yeah, that's a right. good service. Somebody's trying fuck? to get two meals. That was, that was ah, that's all right. That was my okay. way of remembering that he's in a wheelchair. <laughs> all right. Oh, wow. I like you, William. He must be sexy. Well, then off to the side, it just says <laughs> fucking cripple guy. I don't yeah, understand. It does not say that. That's weird. It, sure it does now. It should. Do a wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> but no, never have I ever given a fake name to someone. I absolutely have. Yeah. Yeah, oh, 100%. Yeah. Always. Oh, yeah. I acted like I was a fucking Irish person at a concert, and I was trying to convince them that they are ba- the band, the live band that was playing covers, needs to come up back with me to Galway, Ireland. And I had a whole personality and everything sure did. I bet that was all right that's a serial killer type thing i just that's lied to the fun. cops once Jeez, he's <laughs> cute, dude. Like, was it really fuck? it was the no, cops it was, it was the cops <laughs> and i yep and i was dating a uh, neurosurgeon at the time from dallas and we were out he was here and we were out at the bar and i don't know why i gave him a fake name i was fucking drunk and i just they i gave him a fake name or whatever and they're like that's not your name <laughs> and that's definitely not your social security number and i was like well what do you even want it for you know I mean, and then he walked up and handed him his card and he goes do i need to get a lawyer they're like nope and they uncuffed me and let me out of the back of the car nice. and yeah it was a kind of there's a big fight and do you, and, do you remember what name that you gave them 
Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> oh, I don't No, I don't know. I don't remember, man. I was pretty fucking drunk. My, you gave him a super gay name, like Trixie McFuckstick <laughs> or something. Yeah. It's like, they, yeah. he, gave him his, he gave him his drag name. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 Every gay guy Ooh. has a drag name. Oh, yeah. Right? What That's was how your that drag? works. What was your name when you did drag? Savannah Carmichael. <laughs> there you go. There it is. That doesn't sound fake at all. What's your, what's your go-to, Steve? You know what? I think I was in drag that night. Are you serious? No. Okay. What's your what's your go to uh, name, Steve? Uh, I gave the cop my brother's name. So <laughs> he's smarter than me. No, At least he gave him a real yeah, person. He got a ticket that, he's, oh, that he forgot to pay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. So what if he spent three months in jail? I didn't have to do it. You know, that's fine. I always use Brendan Michaels. We all make sacrifices. Brendan. Brendan Michaels. Michaels yeah. Sounds That's like an weird. 80s TV star. 100%. Porn star. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. It's uh, like the guy that didn't make it onto Beverly Hills. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Uh, let's see. Next one comes in from Ty Heat. Uh, he wants to know. That's not his real name. I'm, well, hey. I guess his answer to B would be, <laughs> yes, yes, I just did. <laughs> He wants to know, never have I ever played chicken while driving. Yeah, of course. Have you? Who hasn't? Of course. Have you not? No. Now, I, now what I do is I fuck with people that start drifting into my lane where I just start <laughs> drifting into their lane because I'm kind of an asshole, I guess. I was going to okay. say, the other people that I'm playing with don't know we're playing. <laughs> oh. But I have played. Yeah. Okay. No, they I always I've done, swerve I've done first. That, I've done that they, both ways. They always swerve first. It's yeah. weird. Yeah. I guess you're right. I guess maybe I have and just didn't really. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Think about put it. Put it together. Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking like straight up. You're you're legitimately driving head on collision. You're talking like Greece one where they're just yeah. fucking. No. Up. Here's a dude. This is a great. This is here's a learning moment right here. Anybody that's looking down and texting their significant other while driving and they hit somebody head on, you were just playing chicken and those people. <laughs> It was a tie. Yeah, you yeah. won. Like, that's all <laughs> there is shot. to it. Just tell the cops that. It'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, and last one comes in from Alan Moravec. He wants to know, never have I ever set fire to a grassy area while shooting off fireworks. I can't. I don't think so. Steve fucking d throws actual flashbang grenades at his kids. Well, that's one. Well, that was one time. <laughs> they should have taken out the trash. And those things were made in Russia. They, we know they were safe. They literally said made in Russia on them. I was like, oh, yeah, these are going to the kids. Yeah. They actually say from Russia with love on them. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever have. Oh God, I'm very embarrassed. I've I, set a, I've set uh, trash cans on fire by throwing stuff away. Oh yeah, yeah but that's on but, purpose. No, 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 that was just by accident. It's oh. Hot still. Whoops. Yeah. Uh, yes, I have actually on the Fourth of July. <clears throat> Probably native grass too. It was definitely yeah. native Son grass. Son of a bitch. Oh, you, yeah, we're gonna call the Bureau of Land Management. You're fucked now, yeah, bud. You are. Oh yeah. You can't be my running <clears throat> mate. <laughs> While I was in college, going to school for fire science. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, you're a pyro, you fucking psycho. <laughs> oh no, fire. Yeah, we've heard it, of you people. It was it was basically to be a firefighter is what I was safe to be safe with fire was what I was going to school for. And okay. to put out he fires. was the firefighter that so, would go light the fire so he could go fight it. Do yeah. we remember the story a few years ago of the Wichita firefighters that were bored, so they started setting their bathroom on fire at the fire <laughs> station to see who could put out the fire better? <laughs> Everyone got fired. <laughs> so the fire. key word was fire that day. <laughs> That's awesome, but no, I on a fourth of a, on a fourth of, fourth of July one year, I was in my uh, my mother's backyard with with my wife and whatever, and we had legal fireworks, which were fucking fountains, and I hate fountains so much. Yeah, but she is basically her backyard goes into the the native tall grass for the golf course. Yeah, and one of those embers fucking got he into that native native, native grass. Native grass. And it caught the fuck on fire, and the fire department was called, and all oh, kind. Of, oh no, it was bad, dude. It it legitimately took out like uh, probably fifteen to twenty yards of of it. Yeah, <laughs> it was awesome. It was fucking. It was legit. Scotty's just like oh, I did that. <laughs> uh, I, I was just there. I uh, you know 
that was my that yeah. was wow. that was my sign. It's like you probably shouldn't be a firefighter, dude. I like it. Yep. So yeah, I definitely have. So you've had a long history with destroying native, <laughs> native grass. grass. I sure have. If that guy knew that story, <laughs> yeah, he boy, did. That would have been He'd Scotty would have been me. the best tiny homes firefighter on the <laughs> yeah, planet. He, he could yeah, just would. get around in those things like no other. You better believe it. I love it. Anyways, that is never have I ever. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> if Scotty was in New York on nine eleven, the towers probably wouldn't have fallen. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah, and that's that would, probably true. Absolutely, dynamite wouldn't have set him off, and that wouldn't yeah. have fallen. Oh, I'm just Jesus. kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Here we go. Just if they kidding. weren't listening before, they are now. Yep. Just Let's kidding. Let's welcome the FBI, totally, the ATF. Totally kidding. Homeland All Security. Right. Welcome to the show. Uh, let's just talk conspiracy theories. Okay, uh, next one. I'm sorry. Uh, now we're going to move on to That's Where I Draw the Line, which is JP's very favorite part of every single episode. You're Yay. fucking it up again, dude. Why? I got a new sound Oh, yeah, now. it is. All right, that's enough. God, you're such a I like it. All right. Uh, But yeah, that's where I draw the line. Let's kick this bad boy off with David Martin. He wants to know, at what point of the night is it too late to set off fireworks? That's a good question. Well, the city says midnight, but my neighbors say 245. (laughs) Yeah, I was going to say, dude, I don't, I I like after like 10 or 11, I think you're kind of being a dick. Dick. 245, bro. And not even the little ones. And if you start start your little fireworks show at 10, it's plenty dark outside. You can be done by, I don't know, whatever. Yeah. I, I and here's the thing I'm like the guy that like wants you to stop shooting them off after midnight because of my dog yeah, situation right. but like if you live out in the country or some shit like that I want you to shoot them off all night long I like have at it go have a good time I think that's actually what people should do majority of the time is go somewhere and shoot them off to where everybody is but where there's a bunch of native yeah. grass there's a bunch of native down. grass, native they can grass. Fuck. you know what when in doubt go on a golf course because they water the fuck out of that thing and so they're gonna catch on fire hey right? it was nice that we had a bunch of rain a couple days yeah, before that's I true agree. that, was that nice. is true I, have, I think I found a new song for JP here oh, what? Ooh. It's pretty good. It sounds very official. It is. Oh, what's it called? You guys remember the Police Academy movies? Oh, yeah. yeah. The Blue okay. Oyster Bar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's perfect. I Where like it. Everyone's wearing leather and humping dudes. Oh, that's great. That seems like my kind of thing. <laughs> I know. Uh, anyways, let's go to the next one. Uh, next one comes in from Braxton Lint. He wants to know. If the others on the show were kidnapped, what is the most you would give to uh, get the person out? Basically, what what is the most you would give for ransom for each person? Well, if you guys are waiting on me to pay so ransom, we're all in big trouble. Not only that, I'm dead. I am I am dead. You guys, I mean, if he's like, hey, uh, how much would any of you give to keep me alive? I'm like, no, don't worry about it. We're we're good. You can keep him. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I wouldn't pay anything. I'd just find out where they are. Yeah. I breach the the fucking Absolutely. house and flash head, headshots only. Yep. And uh, double tap. Take care of it. That's yeah, absolutely correct. Fine. I think uh, I'm right there I think with that's you. That's the best answer. I, I think so. it's the only answer. However, if it were JP, I'd at least pay him. Here's the deal: I'd we're fucking broke. Oh, it's you not would? like we oh, can yes. wire. Hold on. Yeah, I would. I he would. said he'd pay a thousand. I would. I want to make five hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Yep. Sure did. Somebody's uh, getting kidnapped after the show. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't. I mean, everybody's broke like that. I feel like that's a good like question for somebody with like you know a CEO. Like with Derek. Money? Derek. Let's Derek, like, whoa, Derek's like, gonna have to bail us how all out. How much would Derek pay to go to Canada? You know what I mean? Like something whatever like it that. costs. Like, <laughs> yeah. Exactly. It's gonna happen. He's gonna go there. That's what he said. I can't talk shit on him. You know what he found for me the other day? Why? He was he was at Oliver's, uh, which is the memorabilia store here in town. Well, the only reason we talk shit on him is because we love him. Oh, that's one hundred percent true. That's the only reason he talks yeah. shit on us, supposedly. Ac- absolutely. No, he probably no. He he obviously loves me because of what he did. He was in Oliver's, which is the mem- the memorabilia place here in town. Uh-huh. And he calls me and he's like, "Hey." I'm going to send you a text message and you just need to let me know if you buy or to buy it because I think you're going to want this. And I was like, okay. So he sends me the picture. It is a signed like poster Mm -hmm. of, of all of the guys from cool runnings, the Disney movie with the bobsled and it's all signed and shit. I'm like, how much? He's like, dude, it's only a hundred bucks. I'm like, Buy that shit. Yeah, for sure. Buy it now. That's cool. I so, like it. Yeah, so it's like, oh man, that's so nice. So I and he bought you ba- or uh, yeah, got he you got me baseball Tony not Gwynn. that long Yeah, ago. Tony Gwynn. He, he, he thinks about me. He it's kind of crazy. That's creepy little, is what little, it is. Little, little loony. 
Uh, but different. anyways. A little different. Yep. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go on to the last one. This one comes from Wesley Rackley. He wants to know, how big of nipples on a girl are too big of nipples? That's a good question. That is. Yeah, I, on a girl? Because you need them big enough in case you impregnate her <laughs> that she can feed the children. <laughs> yeah. You know? So. Natalie has some big nipples. <laughs> They're just long, you know. What's but I don't want you don't want little dicks out there either, just <laughs> hanging around, you know. <laughs> Like they're, they're, I mean, they're firm. They're, you know what I mean. But yeah, so, I don't know. And that's the other thing. Like, are we talking about just the nipple? Or are we talking about the areola? Too? Dude, I banged this chick with areolas <laughs> that were the size of a fucking dinner plate. That was weird. Oh um, man. Yeah. All right. Sorry. And those ones are never flat. They're always no. They all have the up. they have the braille the around volcano, them. You yeah. know, the little bumps mm-hmm. everywhere. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's weird. Yeah, and hair. That's- <laughs> <laughs> nope, that's just me. Okay. All right, that all right. is just that's just me. I'm yeah. I, I look like a fucking mano lantern if I take my shirt off. I have no hair on anywhere else in my body except for around my nipples. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm yeah. a very hairless person. I don't have I, any hair. Yeah, anywhere. that's it. Um, I'm, I, dude, I, I, I like them small. I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, like just the little, like little quarter, buttons. Quarter, <laughs> quarter sized areolas with, you know, like quarter sized areolas. <laughs> yeah. Just she many Chris's. I think half dollars are better. Ah, uh, that's what my wife, my wife has quarters. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reason you married her. It's like, I don't even remember her name. I just remember her nipple. He just walks up and holds a quarter up to her nipple. <laughs> oh, you're inside the line. So yeah. Let's get married. Good. These things start growing and you're out. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome. How about you, JP? Uh, I don't much care for girls or nipples on them. I was going to say, are gay you guys a, like are you a nipple guy? So, I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. What? I'm with you. Yeah. Nothing bigger than a quarter. Yeah, that's. I don't it need just that. starts getting Espe- weird. On men, it starts getting real weird. <laughs> Uh, oh my God. It starts getting real weird because oh. most of the men with big areolas are fat. Imagine and Derek. They got real. Like, yeah, like right. Derek, Derek right. If Derek off. took his shirt off, yeah. <laughs> Basically, if Derek took his shirt off. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucking. Yeah, funny. I don't know. That that'd be weird for a gay guy to be like, oh, I was banging this dude. He had some sweet ass D cups. <laughs> yeah, right. Yikes. That's because right. right. you know what the right. rest of that looks like. Uh, yeah, that's, no, those are trans people, is what that is. No, 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 no. You can you can find some guys with some. Just yeah, they right. love cheeseburgers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guarantee. It's like GMO food are going yeah. right to my they tits. They actually have tits. Do they actually like wear bras? Uh, what's well, no. the? Oh, okay. They wear bras. Uh, what is it? Gyno, gynoclamastia, where you actually like you can if you have too much estrogen in your body as a male, you can grow tits. You grow yeah. tits, and you you have to have them surgically removed. You can't ever like yeah, that's yeah. Thing. You can't oh, run wow. those things off. They're oh. done. Oh man. Yeah. No, I didn't. It's know like that. my love handles. I think they're secretly gynoclamastia. <laughs> you can't fucking get rid of them. I'm gonna have to have a. I'm gonna have to have a surgeon suck those things off of me, or JP or something. I don't know, but Whoa. it's gonna be bad, dude. You had me at suck lot. off. There's uh-huh. a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> I hate uh, those things. All little, right. I call them my meat shelves. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's where I draw the line for this week. Now we get to move on to questions in Preguntas. Yay. And we got quite a few of them. All right. All right. So uh, first one is going to be from Jeremiah Ferguson. He wants to know, when putting on socks and shoes, how do you put them on? Would you say that, that some of these questions were some of the best questions you've ever seen? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Remember when I said he says that every week? Okay. And then we get this. Yeah. I, am ve- yeah. I am very curious because I think that if you do it the wrong way, you're fucking psycho. Like you are a psychopath. How do you put your socks and shoes on? Do you put them? Do you put your socks on first and your shoes? Do you? Yeah, put, of course. You, I put both socks on, then my shoes. If you put your <laughs> yeah, shoes if, on if and then I'm, your socks on, that's no, a problem. No, no, no. I mean, like there are actually people. This is why I'm asking. There yeah, are actual that's right. people that will put yep. on their sock yep. and, then and then put, put on, on their shoe, shoe and then put their on a foot. sock and then put on the yes. shoe. Yeah, it's fucking weird. Fuck I don't. People. I try not to wear socks. Like I don't even have socks on right now. I try not to wear socks very often. And I don't own a pair of underwear. <laughs> Literally, I do not. I haven't owned a pair of underwear since. Uh, oh, well, God. the last since time I bought JP a pair broke of, into my house. No, the last time I bought a <laughs> <laughs> last time I bought a pair of underwear, it was on a packing list for Iraq in like yeah. 2008 or 10 or seven. I need to fucking all those years. Meundies, Meundies for a sponsorship. Yeah. yeah, I sure should. I just don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I no, don't like dude, it. You're, no, you, people are fucking weird. I have to wear socks all the time. We've already discussed this. Everybody knows. Yeah. Even but in the swimming pool in the shower. Not in the swimming pool <laughs> or the shower. That's the only time. That's the only time. But, but. He didn't say no in the shower. That's true. This? No. I fuck with my socks on, dog. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a whole thing. How do you we get did a traction. <laughs> You're just sliding, no. dude. That's cloth on cloth. You no. have no fucking. You I have no those, grip. I got those socks that have like the pads underneath. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, dude. You have sex socks. You have the the pregnant lady at the <laughs> hospital socks. We should sell those sex yeah, socks. Should. Should That's totally, insane. Totally get sex socks. Man. I guarantee yeah. we can get. They'll just have the laughing on the. It just says dude, laughing on the yes. sidelines on the grips. Oh, Watch him have those Vibram ones that have the little. Cutouts for your yeah, toes yeah, yeah. and shit. Right. He wears those to bed right. every day. Yeah. What a yeah. weirdo. No, man. Uh, but no, that's a good idea. We should. We should. You have to have socks, socks on at all times. Yeah, dude. I'm weird. I don't want. I don't like my feet getting cold. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. <That's, laughs> hey, you know what? what I would much rather be the guy that always has to wear socks than be the guy that doesn't, doesn't cut, cut his, his toenails. fucking toenails. Oh, <laughs> that, that would is be true. That'd be Mike Baldwin. Uh, he went 90, nine, days 90 plus days without cutting, without his, cutting fucking his toenails, toenails dude. That's fine. I'm sure. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah! He's, he's not well, he has uh, to cut him with a hacksaw by the, <laughs> yeah. by the time they're done. Exactly. He asked the first time I ever rode with him out of town for a 16 hour drive. He's like, do you smoke weed? And I was like, no, I don't. And he goes, yep, neither do I. <laughs> he's smoking this crack pipe of weed. He has this clear pipe uh-huh. that looks like a crack pipe, uh, <laughs> like really bad. And then he just, the whole time we're driving, he's just chiefing. And I was like, man, that, but that's the only dude. He has a fucking Honda Fit which is smaller than this table right here. <laughs> yes. yeah. And so I try and put the seat all the way back, but you can't because yeah, I'm not five foot yeah, two. Right. So <laughs> I literally the have, seat yeah, get the back. I have to lay his seat all the way back into the back seat mm-hmm. to just sit in his car correctly <laughs> so I don't get DVT. I can just let my fucking legs like go all the way out, you know, otherwise they're in my chest. <laughs> but he is the only person will leave a gig at like midnight and I've had some Jameson or whatever. I don't usually get shit face when I'm doing comedy, but I have a few. And then he'll be like, nope, we're driving back. He never wants to stay in a hotel. And it'll be a 16-hour drive. Yeah. And I'm like, all right. And he won't let me drive. I just lay there and go to sleep like I'm his girlfriend or something (laughs) the whole entire way. And he's never hit anything. And it's so great, dude. I love it so much. He's the only yeah. person that I trust to do that. 100%. No, he's a fucking gangster. True, so if he wants story. to keep his talents for a while, just let him keep them, I guess. I, guess. I don't know. Anyway, That's very odd. Yep. Next one comes in from Charlie Mann. He wants to know, you get to make the next great American holiday. What is it? And how do you celebrate it? Oh, man. That's a good one. Well... I, I'm gonna, hmm. do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I want a month. Fuck a, fuck a day. Everybody else seems to be getting month. JP's people get a month. I want That's a month. True. I want. Of um, course you do. I want, I want firearm month. You deserve it, man. I want firearm month That's and snowboard month. and snowboard month. That's what I, <laughs> firearm month Ugh. is not ever. No, snowboard no. month. I'm kidding. I, I feel like that'd be worse than June. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He had that one in the chamber. <laughs> he sure did. And he uh, pulled the trigger. He did. He picked his fucking AR up <laughs> off his lap with the fucking People trigger. would be like, I mean, Pride Month or whatever, but yeah. Snowboard Month is gay as fuck. Yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, I'm all for Pride Month, but Snowboard Month, come on. I think yep. it should be. A firearm month would be July. That, uh, that just fits, right? Okay, and sure. then everybody gets firearms, firearms at month, 50% yeah. off everywhere you go, and that's, uh, that's where it is. Right? <laughs> Right, Jesus Steve. Christ. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do All it. right, I think let's do great. it. Weirdo. What's your What's your uh, holiday there, JP? Um, suck a straight guy <laughs> day. Day where all straight guys get a pass, and I can suck them off, and then they're not gay and <laughs> okay. go about their business the next day. I just mm. really like straight dick. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a glory hole situation? It, what, yeah. Uh, yeah. However, it has to work. I'm in. <laughs> like we'll figure something out, man. Oh no. Not glory holes. It's like stockings. You just move over the stocking, and then there's the fucking. Oh, okay, it's all like, right. Kind of like Christmas. Okay, so well, it's around. It's winter. around that. Okay, yeah, it's right. winter. All right, fair enough. How about it's you? It's an indoor it, sport. If he likes straight dick, I guess I'm in the clear because mine has a curve to it. <laughs> oh, so, that's fine. I don't. I don't have to worry about getting into your weirdness. Uh, well. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah after this show mine is gonna have a right angle as well steve oddly enough uh my holiday is suck a gay guy's dick <laughs> wow 
<laughs> we can now, fucking uh, talk. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I really, uh, I wanted to come up with something super cool on this, and I, I'm just drawing a blank. I could have if I'd have read it before. I guess Mimosa for, Month well, would that, be my for, favorite. For, for Steve, be, it'd be like Gambling Month, like Gambling Day or some shit. Well, like that's every from, day is gambling I was going to say, that's from about October. Uh, <laughs> to October. October. To October. Yeah, yeah uh, it's from October to March uh, when the uh, Stanley Cup's over. Uh, so that's okay. Football to Stanley Cup. That's it. All right. Fine. Unless. Unless I'm betting on a random soccer, uh, you, can bet, <laughs> you can also bet on bowling now. Ooh, ooh, so, an, ooh, really? a, anal yeah. month. Uh, oh, that, oh everybody can enjoy that. Yeah, that's Hang true. on, what did my buddy tell me? <laughs> this one was pretty good. What? Uh, make it, make it like the same time tax season comes around, so everybody here, legitimately is, gets what, fucked in the ass. Let's, let's listen to what this guy says. What did he say? Oh, hang on. When, bet on stuff. What? I was. Uh, I won't do it. Uh, All right. He was basically saying that I should be able to bet on the weather if whether or not <laughs> whether or not people are going to get fucked up by tornadoes oh, or not. I, I was hey, like, that would actually be kind of a cool. That casino. would be. That would be kind of cool. I kind of like that. Uh, anyways, now we'll move on to uh, Jackson Denter. Uh, he wants to know what makes you realize that you are completely and utterly wasted. Man. When I don't know what I say and nobody else does either. <laughs> I, do you, okay, so Joe so, Biden, basically. Yeah. Like yeah. I have a good I have a good like threshold and I know where I'm at when I'm buzzed. Yeah. It's the first time I piss and it's crystal clear. Like <laughs> After I've started drinking. Yeah. Usually I'm like, oh, that first piss, like you're always kind of buzzed at that point. You know what I mean? That's like yeah. four or five beers in. And then uh I don't know when I'm finally just like, all right, I'm I'm switching to water. <laughs> That's yeah. Usually when I'm when I know I'm fucking done. I know I'm done whenever like I can tell whenever like I'm blending words together. Oh, there, there you go. go. Yeah, nice. that's it, it's not slurring words. It's it's they they're being joined. So yeah, that nice. is, that's my for me. It's not it's not booze it's fucking drugs and i can tell when i go to stand up out of my chair and i start leaning, leaning. <laughs> then i know and you'll probably if you go back and watch episodes yeah and i it's it's an episode where i smoke too much before i came over i am kind of <laughs> like <laughs> one, way or, one way or another yeah. and it's usually left it's like right now, I feel like I've been leaning left a little bit, yeah, but yeah, and it's right. usually left. I don't know why. There you go. That's awesome. So yeah, when I get the Detroit lean going on, nice. I love it. That's uh, badass. Next one uh, comes in from Braxton Lint again. He wants to know words that people with different accents can't pronounce. Wow, <laughs> Braxton is trying to get us canceled as fuck. Yeah, he is. Hey, Braxton, how long have you worked for YouTube, <laughs> sir? <laughs> Jesus criminy. Uh, <laughs> All right, here goes my best Asian accent. This will go over fucking well. I can't remember, but I think it's Lululemon. Did Lululemon. You, did you hear about oh Lululemon? Oh, my gosh. Lululemon. Am, the main is, reason why it's called that was because the guy who owns the company is really racist. Yeah, and he does That like yeah, Asian people, yeah. and they can't say it. I think yeah. that's bullshit. <laughs> that's what they said. I've heard that fucking rumor, yes. too. I just feel Swear. like that's... They also said I Tommy swear. Hilfiger was uh, racist, and he was. Uh, he definitely yeah. was. <laughs> well, he was. Well, he kind of went the wrong way on that one. <laughs> yeah. Because a bunch of black guys thought yeah. they were on yachts for many years. Now yes. they're wearing Tommy Hilfiger. <laughs> that's yeah. totally true. Um, uh, Hilfiger. Yeah, that's right. Huh. Uh, man. Well, uh, the guy that owns Abercrombie is yeah, racist yeah. against fat people. Yeah. He won't that, well, go, he won't sell anything other than like a medium or something. That's or because he's a friend of the gay. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's he's true. That makes friend sense. Of the gay. Yeah, that makes yeah sense. absolutely. Right. I like it. Oh, oh that's so fucking funny. Uh, I loved it. Anybody else have anything for that one? No, okay. no. We are okay. we're not touching that with a fucking 10 foot on. Moving on. Uh, we're going to go on to uh, John Wiggins. He wants to know what. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Even... This All is right. going to go well. All right. <laughs> what? What's the. I can't even say it. What's the weirdest things to have to call your insurance company for? I I've got this thing stuck in my ass. And I had to go to the hospital. <laughs> I accidentally drowned a truck one time. <laughs> That'll do it. Dude. 
It was so fucked up. Hmm. Like I was by myself. I was like at Butler County Fishing Lake, and I had this little boat that I hadn't had for very long. And I had a like a flatbed truck, but it had like a Dewey's like hay bale. I I don't even know why I bought it. Yeah. Um. But I just thought I needed the flatbed, so I thought that was cool. Um, so when I put it in park, I guess the weight of that, they said it just shears oh, yeah. off the park oh. and it just, so Boom. when they found the truck at the bottom of the lake, it was still in park. <laughs> and I was like, how the fuck is that possible? And he's like, no, he said, this happens all the time. The, <clears throat> the guy that got it, he goes, it just shears the, there's a, a I don't know, you know, you're yeah. a car guy. There's like a link or something that yeah. goes in there and it just snaps it right yeah. off. Yeah. So that I think was, it's called the parking pole. But dude, that it. like it because what the way i would put my boat in the water is i would have to hold it if i'm by myself with a with a string so i wrapped it around my hand and dude it started fucking trying to pull me with everything like that was terrifying that was really terrifying and then i called my insurance agent and i was like dude this is what happened and he goes oh i know a guy uh we can get that it's a diesel engine we can save it da, da, da. i was like oh, There's fuck yeah. yourself. we're not saving this are you out of your mind it's i was like the bottom I don't give of a the fuck lake. about your bottom line i pay for insurance for a reason oh god that's so yeah shit. they finally totaled it out but that was uh that was weird ah uh, yeah and it's I, I didn't even think about it but you're right it's definitely something to do with a, with a vehicle yeah. like like have you seen the the people up in alaska they celebrate the fourth of july by driving vehicles off a fucking cliff no way that's all totally and I'm i like, think more right. women should celebrate the fourth of july it sounds like they are in alaska yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah it's like uh, i need to make a claim on this vehicle that uh is now at the bottom of a cliff wow yeah all right i love it how about you jp what'd you say oh no you said uh, roman candle up your butt no <laughs> that's just a tuesday that. that's uh wow yeah you know i said something up my butt i wasn't necessarily a roman candle but yeah okay. it could have been okay uh, let's see. Uh, next one comes in from Mason Lind. He wants to know bad parent motivational speeches. Ooh. I would assume that this happens every time the gypsies take their kids to Dillard's. <laughs> They're in the car and they're like, we are going to steal every <laughs> polo shirt they have available and act like you don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then they go in and they steal everything. Oh, yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. It's a good one. Yep. Sorry, I've just seen it happen too many times. Me too. Mm -hmm. Parents. They used to steal all our uh, condiment packets when I worked at Quick Trip. <laughs> Fuck, dude, yeah. dude it's not. And the plastic forks. I didn't have to buy a ketchup the for one a year. Lady said, the one lady said it's their religion. They have to steal it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. That's, yeah. I mean, that's the she thing. Said, like, I'm not trying to I be like know, a racist I don't, asshole. I don't want like, to they steal, steal yeah. everything. She said, I, did, I didn't want to steal them, but I had to. So I, I know. Like, what? Uh, so I'm actually friends with one of his name. But I'm not even going to give his name. But I, he's, dude, he's great. He's <laughs> awesome. Right, man, I like the guy a lot. Like, he's cool as shit. And he owns one of the, the scrap yards or whatever. Oh, yeah. And he broke it down for me one day like he told me how this all works and who their king is and everything oh, else God. so like it's like it's a real thing yeah like, they really they're just like they're trying to get an angle mm -hmm. every Dude. fuck it doesn't matter what it is they're just That's shooting crazy. an angle every single time that is crazy but i love that dude he's actually kind of dude. i mean you can't loan him money or anything no. <laughs> like, or let I him made, in your house dude, i've made yeah. that mistake before so uh. but he's he's great he's a good dude he's just but he's so honest about it he's it's like so yeah we're funny. pieces of shit it's fine it's <laughs> funny so i fucked one of the gypsies oh my oh, god no way dude they stole your Say, dick no 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 <laughs> It was they one definitely of, stole your semen. It was one they of the gypsies it. and his cousin. Oh my! Oh, it was a threesome gypsy. It was awesome. That's all. Awesome. <laughs> it was a gypsy threesome. Oh. All right. Oh. And let me tell you, dude. They fucking didn't take anything because oh. I said I'd shoot them if they did. <laughs> <laughs> I I was like, I don't have anything to steal. <laughs> I was wrong. They did steal some shit. They took some coasters. No. -uh. And uh yeah, that's they took awesome. some coasters and a half gallon of milk. Oh my Well, they got God. some comps. Yeah. yeah. That's all it is. They yeah, just got some comps. Okay. That's all right. That's but, awesome. Yeah, that's Deal. a true story. Oh, that's great. Uh, and uh, we're going to move on to the last one. Uh, this one comes in from Hunter Ellis. He wants to know, what is the dumbest thing that someone has tried to convince you was real? The earth is flat. Yeah, <laughs> that's a damn good one. Birds. Birds are fa birds are fucking CIA operatives. They keep trying to convince I me they're they real. Are. And I know birds aren't real. <laughs> I've seen the van. Yeah, that's very true. They all have listening devices. Yeah, they do. 
Uh, they the used to be real, but the government in their killed eyes. them all. Yep. And now they're fake birds. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I believe that. 9-11 wasn't fucking a terrorist attack. There are people that are still convincing people that that was all oh, set up. That no kids died at Sandy Hook? Yeah. yeah. How many billions that did that? That cost him like, what, two billion bucks? A lot. Or something like that? that a Crazy, lot. Dude. Hey, yeah. man, but it's still pretty sketch. I'm not saying... That, you know what's fucked mm, up about that is every time he would mention that he would he would make millions and millions and millions of dollars. So I think that's where that the reason that the fine was so heavy is because they they tracked like how much he was oh, making wow. every time he would mention that shit. Jesus he was Christ. literally making millions of dollars off the backs of, of dead kids. Like it's fucked up. So I ha- I also am uh, on this question the dumbest thing that I can try and convince somebody. Mm-hmm. I'm in the automotive industry. This happens on a fucking daily basis with us. Blink, I have a theory about that. Blink blinker fluid, muffler oh, bearings, geez. all kinds of shit like that. Yeah, I, I, I'll still never forget it to the day I die. My one of my coworkers, which is soon, I hope. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> with the coworker Especially that these uh, cheap pins. I worked yeah. with, Looking sorry, I don't even want it. Guy that I worked with, no bullshit. A lady came in to buy. She said that she needed to buy a, a quart of oil. Fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. I fucking hate you. Stop. Wait, go ahead. You, oops, can't write with that one. No. Oh, <laughs> breaking my worthless. fucking pins. But anyways, uh, no, Steve, you'll enjoy this fucking story. So I, I worked am with, enjoying it right now. No, I, I worked because oh, Mike fucking broke him off. A fucking pen in that one. I, I worked with. Uh, it was all high <laughs> God damn it. Stop. <laughs> Jesus. I worked with a guy um, at an automotive uh, store and a lady came in and said she needed to buy a quart of oil. And so she asked, she bought the quart of oil and asked, where does she put the oil? And mm-hmm. my coworker said, just go and open the hood and pour it over the <laughs> engine and it'll, so- and it'll soak it in. Oh my God. And he said it so sarcastically that nobody thought that she would actually she go and it. do it. She totally she went outside and that. poured it all oh, over. Shit. Oh yeah. Here's we- the problem. I'm as dumb as that chick <laughs> when it comes to fucking, I've had to have my wife my wife's been in the automotive industry for years so oh, yeah. like i was trying to change a light bulb on her car one time <laughs> and i started watching some shit on youtube and i think i was on the wrong model of car because i had taken off basically the entire front, front bumper, bumper and shit I did it. and she came outside and was like what the fuck are you doing and i was like i'm changing the light bulb yep. like i'm a man i can do this and she literally just reached down and pulled it down and put the other one in and i was like fuck <laughs> She's like, now put my bumper back together. Yeah, it was bad. And I, I had extra parts. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that, I don't know where those screws went, but that's, it's fine. That's you how know? it always happens. Yep. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is questions and preguntas again. Thank you guys for participating in Monday Fun Day. We sincerely do appreciate it. But now we get to get on, move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft, and I would just like to say something. JP, you won last week's draft by a fucking landslide. Of course I did, man. I'm hilarious. And the thing is, is before we do a draft, we go out and we make a decision of what we're going to draft. Correct. And JP made the comment outside last week, and he said, I think I'm just going to do noises. I'm like, don't. That'll be stupid. It'll be so dumb. That's what he said. I said that. He said that. Turns out it was brilliant. Turns out it was fucking gold. So yeah. congratulations, JP. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I love it. There were people that were telling me that they legitimately had to pull their vehicle over so they wouldn't fucking crash because they were laughing so hard. Hey, you know, I, I do what I can to please the people. God, Whoa. So fucking ridiculous. Whoa. Yeah. He does, though. Whoa. He really does. Uh, but anyways, we thought we'd do a little fun fun draft this week, and it actually... <laughs> well, we thought we'd have some fun with it this yeah, week. Yeah, instead of doing, you know... Noises. JP can't make noises for this one. I, at least I don't think so. Well, I can, <laughs> I mean, but you can, you're not going to like the noises. That's true. Uh, this was actually a suggestion from a listener. This was from Sean Crawford. Uh, he wanted us to do a draft of our favorite cults. <laughs> so... Here we go. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, because JP won last week's draft, he gets the championship picks at the end. 
I uh, I actually did come in second. I came in second, so I legitimately get the Eiffel Tower picks this yeah. week. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But because Mike, uh, or be- sorry, because Mike is not here, uh, Steve is here, what and he a gets slacker. He gets the number one overall pick. Uh, and I do. Yes, you do. You get the number one overall pick for your favorite Colts. So kick it off, Mr. Steve. Go for it. I am gonna go with. Uh, the Church of Scientology. God damn it, that was the Motherfucker. One. Yay, that Kirstie was the Alley. Fuck. God yeah. damn it. I was going to say that one, too. That was my number one overall pick. Uh, Son of a bitch. I knew it. See, this is why. This is why. This is why you have to why. have it. Son of a bitch. Okay, that was my... That <laughs> one was, pick, and he's already looking shit. I, he's uh, done. No, he's he's uh, done. No, the one that I also thought of, what was those uh, really fucking bad? Um, there's two. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go with uh, Heaven's Gate. Is Aww, one that was the one I was going to pick, too. I remember that one. Yeah. yeah. I remember seeing that on the news with all the people covered in sheets. Yeah. That, that was, was wild. Yeah, that was uh, that was definitely. I was like, bad. they did what? And they got brand new Nikes for it too. Yeah, yeah it's fucking terrible. Yeah. Everything. It, well, there was like purple sheets yeah, or something. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Oh man. So that is my pick. Uh, now you get to move on to JP. You get two in a row. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Manson family cult. Yeah, that's because, a good one. mostly because of the hallucinogenics that yeah. they uh, <laughs> fucking believe in, and fucking <laughs> you gotta love them. God. And uh, is it called the Manson family or was? That the Manson was family. That, what cult. was the whole deal with Helter Skelter? It was that's, like, that was like part of it, right? Part that was of it. Like, or that was yeah, a movie was or a, something. They made a movie. It was a song. Yeah. It was a it's song a by song the Beatles. And a movie that oh, okay. made it into a movie and yeah. all that. But it was about the cult. But yeah, okay. It was the Manson family. Cult. They think that. Uh, well, all right. That's just another conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> the government might have something to do with the Manson. All right. Anyway, anyway here we go. JP, you get one more. And uh, the second one, I'm gonna go with the Branch Davidians. Fucking a. Which one was that? David Koresh. David Koresh. Oh, uh, okay. Hence the, the Davidians. Lead, the lead singer of Creed. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, his name is Scott. Uh, I know that. The only reason I got I got to go with that one is because like that was one of the very first times in history that the overreach of the government was fucking televised. You know what I mean? Uh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's clearly sh- were they doing crazy fucked up things in there yes mm-hmm. did they deserve to be fucking like blown to smithereens probably not this and then the- in the end they light themselves on fire to prove to, to fuck the guy to be like hey the fucking government we'll set show our shit you on guys fire. <laughs> yeah right yeah, yeah I, just the whole thing was fucking awesome it was Cause weird because that, yeah, that, that was that was wake up. i think that was yeah that was wake up yeah, yeah that was one of the first times that i think any like that had been seen in the U.S. For you know sure. what I mean? Like I remember watching that. I, think, I can't remember like how that, old I was when I watched yeah. that, but it was, oh, it was mesmerizing. Twenty four seven coverage yeah. for months. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it was. Okay, I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with the People's Temple. That is nah. uh, that's the Jones. That's the Jones. Yeah. Jim right. Jones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to look that one up. I don't remember what he was. They were called. I just remember Jim Jones and that psycho fuck. I so I had to look up what their ex called, but yeah, that was yeah. Jim Jones in the fucking nineteen seventies. Yeah. Which, um, whenever you hear the phrase, they drank the Kool Aid. Oh yeah, that's, that's where it's it. from. So, yep, I'm gonna go with the People's Temple. Uh, now, Steve, you get two in a row. Well, I'm. Uh, how about the number one? Uh, the Children of God. Okay, good one. Who was good one. who was that? That is the David Moses Berg. Got he it. founded this communist Christian offshoot in California in 68. And it's still going. It's very sex-centric. Fucking commun- so oh, communism. Fuck communism. That's, that's communism. The only, uh, <laughs> Fucking commies. Yeah, that's Psycho the only one that fucks. I would join because it's very sex-centric. <laughs> uh, awesome. Let's see. Uh, let's see. How many more do I have? You got one more pick. One more pick? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with my very, very favorite cult. Uh, Pat McAfee. <laughs> <laughs> High five. Oh. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it's a good pick. <laughs> what? The kicker. Well, he was a cult. He was a cult. Oh. That's true. Not, I it's, like it. It's not spelled the same. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd spell like me, it's spelled the same. It's John Coffee. Oh, only not spelled God. the same. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. Is that really your pick? Yeah. Okay. You can. That's how I'm going to win this thing. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So I'm uh, I'm going to take um, uh, the Rajneesh movement. That was from the documentary Wild Wild Country. I never saw it. Dude. I know never you're talking. Yeah. I, I never Fucking saw it. Fucking crazy. Yeah. 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 I'll I'm, have to check that I'm out. I'm good. Yeah. I, I fuck Colts, man. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. For sure. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the the Ra, uh, Rajneesh movement. Very good. Sweet. JP, Very you good. get you get two in a row. All right, the first one I'm gonna take is the Om Shinrikyo. Which one is that? Was that it's the, the Asian one? Yeah, where from they Japan. fucking to Japan. Yeah, uh, the, it's it's the guy that founded it or whatever. His name was Om. Um, that's what he called himself. Yeah, but he was um, a Shiriko. yoga teacher but turned that's the psycho. One. Yeah, yeah. That's, who that's just turned, yeah, who just dude, turned psycho yeah. and the fucking sarin yeah. gas. Yeah, and yeah, fucking that dude, dude. Fuck that dude. The, that was probably the most organized, well fucking run cult that. I mean that motherfucker. That, ha- I mean that was he like, killed defectors. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and yeah. Uh, the dudes that released the sarin, sarin gas had um, the antidote with and them too. With there's them. there's something yeah. you can inject, I guess, yeah. with sarin gas mm-hmm. that'll kill it immediately. And mm-hmm. one of them got he almost died. He got really really exposed to it, but it wasn't strong enough. It wasn't as strong as they thought it was going to be because they released it on the subway, subway in yeah. Japan, thinking that it would kill a million yeah, people. Yeah, 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 I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think it killed. I don't know. It might have been like Man, twenty full. people, yeah, maybe or something. It yeah, it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't nearly what they was thought it was going right to be. In the, the, like, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, the, the biggest problem was vicinity. is that the Japanese would not stop. They wouldn't stop their subways. They were like, yeah. no, people have shit to do. Mm-hmm. Like, we're going to keep going. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, they would have probably not even killed that many. Dude, so. you want to see some fucking crazy cool shit? If if you want to see some really crazy cool shit in Japan, um, like watch people walking to work in the subway. Um, like on a day on during the week, it's fucking creepy. Yeah, they're yeah. all walking the exact same speed. Everybody's do, it's fucking hmm. wild. I love it's it. It's fucking wild. It's cool. Let's do it. It's fucking okay. rad. But anyways, uh, you get one more. Uh, the next one that I'm gonna pick is uh, Living Colors Cult of Personality. Okay. In Living Color? No, Living oh, Color. Living Color. Okay. It's a band. They sing a song named Cult of Personality. Okay. And that's the one I'm picking. Okay, that's fine. Okay, man. Uh, <laughs> I expected more from that. Uh, no. Man, that hurt. <laughs> no. I'm not going to lie. It's terrible. It's a song. It's funny. It's fucking. Yeah. It's funny. Okay. It's not noises. Fireworks funny. Has. Uh, how many? I got, I, I, it's my turn now. Oh. It's still my turn. But I. I'm here's to see which ones. Yeah. I'm going to go with the family. For my my bro in Australia, do you remember the family? family no idea. Family huh? International. It's fine. Yeah, that's what you're talking about, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. As a gay man, I can't really vote for that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was a fucked up deal. It sure was. They uh, all were though. It was initially known as was, the Great White Brotherhood. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They don't like. Yeah. So. Anyone. Good, good on they you. didn't like themselves. They, <laughs> they were sure fucking did. at war within their fucking group and everything. Yep. Did yeah. somebody already say the Rajneeshis? Yes, yeah. I did. Damn, yeah. those that ones was, are fun. I man. know, right? They they tried to do some crazy shit, dude. I was actually really impressed that we were able to find at least fifteen of these because they're, they're <laughs> like, they're, like you kind of think of the really like the more pop popular. Hold on, let me let me let me change the wording of that. The ones who have made the most news. Mm-hmm. So yeah fuck so yeah all right um and then uh steve you get two in a row and if you take mine i'm gonna get so pissed uh, i need to divert i think <laughs> uh let's see here i have one that's not on any list that i've seen so far so i'm very excited i'm gonna go with the nx ivm yeah i saw that one when i looked up they for a were list. fucking assholes the women <laughs> oh. like big time well, they recruited women. It was like a violent sexual cult type oh, thing. Oh, that's terrible. That's and fucking then, terrible. Uh, and then I'm going to go with the Jehovah's Witness. Oh, good call, dude. <laughs> I don't know of any other ones. Sorry. No, that's a lot of people I don't know, said, though. I could have said the Mormons, I guess. Or something. I don't know. That's not really a cult, right? I mean, I don't know. Like, what, what makes it a cult, I guess? What do you mean? It says there's 10,000 cults in the United States of America. Yeah. I think technically you can basically. They still exist today. You can pretty much call a lot of religions cults, which is why my very last pick that I'm going to go ahead and take is the Westboro Baptists. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. Get yeah, for sure. Bodied. That is that is definitely a fucking cult. Those yes, people are it pieces is. of shit. They are pieces of shit. And uh yeah. They they're they're from Kansas. 
They are in, was it, it's it, Topeka. Yeah, they're in Topeka. The Westboro Baptist yeah, Church. Yeah, they're in Topeka. Yeah, yeah, all of the, and I think it's hilarious. There's one house, it's called the Rainbow House, I believe, and it's um, it's a it's a gay couple that lives right next to them, and they they just give them shit the entire time. It's fucking awesome. You would enjoy it. Huh. So, JP, what is your very last pick to wrap this bitch up? Uh, I'm going with the 12 tribes. The 12 tribes. And it's an active cult. I was actually uh, just reading about that. They're uh, all servers. Yeah, they're, they're all well, restaurant they restaurant. Yeah, they yeah. own a restaurant called the yeah. Yellow Deli. And they believe that they have to get something in the neighborhood of like 140,000 male virgins that they're going to sacrifice in 2070. Can't because blame that's them. when Jesus is coming back. And anywhere there's 140,000 male virgins, I want to be in. I want to <laughs> be there. I want to be, be there. I want to be there. So that's why I'm going to go with with that one. Hey, I, uh, it's good. The 12 tribes I, and, I, and the I, yellow deli. I figured I figured I would take your pick, but and you know Burrows. the weirdest thing about that cult is they actually originated in Canada. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, that's where it started. You know what? Good job, Canada. Yeah. Way yeah. to go! So. You guys are just doing great things. I can't I can't be too mad at them. They're actually responsible for making the M1 Grand. So yeah, well, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. It's just saying. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is our draft for this week of our favorite cults. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, whatever. Favorite cults. Yeah, you can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines or x slash Twitter at LOT sidelines and vote for the list that you like the best of, you know, your favorite cults. Make sure you comment. <laughs> Make comment sure. and like comment and subscribe. And like. You know, comment your favorite cults. You must subscribe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely leave I a comment. I should have said laughing on the, the sidelines. Side <laughs> yeah. We could have started something here. Son of a bitch. Oh, dude. But with, Scotty as a, but with Scotty as a leader, we're probably not going to get yeah, that many followers. We're definitely not banging I'm anybody. Getting taken out. Yeah. I'm getting taken out immediately. Uh, but yes, do us a favor. Go and vote. Do, uh, do leave a comment on the uh, YouTube video. We would sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you guys so very much. But now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sideline shitty situation of the week. Yay! All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation brought to you by Steve Peters and, and his, his mad wife. His angry Yay. wife. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. If I wasn't laughing, I'd be crying. <laughs> all, right, that's, all right. And also, Mr. JP. No, wrong song, dickweed. Yeah. Oh, I gotta love it. You fucking psychos. <laughs> JP's double jerking off, really? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a song you double fist to. Uh, probably. probably. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, this week's laughing on the sideline shitty situation. Oh, before, I'm sorry. Before I get to that, because it's sponsored by you too. Do we have any good stand-up comedy coming at Vorshays anytime soon? No, we're trying to take the summer off uh, just because we couldn't get anybody to show up to any of the shows. I got to be honest with you, man. I've had some of the best comics I know yeah. that have been in Vorshays the past few weeks, and everybody's at the fucking mud-colored lakes instead. Yeah. So I just said, go fuck yourself. I've got an idea. We're gonna we're going to wait and start having comedy again in September. I, I've got an idea. Yeah. Just, just throwing it out there okay. because I think one of the more common questions that we get every fucking week okay. is, hey, when's the next live show? Yeah, yeah. we need to do Let's one. do that. I mean, we could, we, we could. That would we be should. on you. We could. We should. We might. And that's actually <laughs> kind of a destination thing, too. So we should do that while it's still summertime. Right. right. Hey, I agree with that. Like, let's might. do it in August or September. First uh, part. All right. I might. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to work on that. Okay. There you go. There's your go. fucking answer. Okay. Good. We'll let you know. Uh, but this week's laughing on the sidelines shitty situation uh, is. Do you want me to say it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go ahead, Steve. Okay. Would you rather? Would you rather be the leader of a violent sex cult, or would you rather have to tell your significant other that you have AIDS? <laughs> hmm. Wow. Mm. It, that goes for any sexual partner that you've with. Not, they don't have to be your significant other. Right. They can just be the the chick that you ended up falling into last <laughs> yeah. night, which is why you probably have AIDS. After probably this, mm. after the show gets over, JP's going to have to make some calls. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, so this is a tough one <laughs> because um, I definitely, definitely don't want to tell anybody that I have AIDS. 
because if it were true, I might die. Yeah, so I guess not anymore. Uh, well, not really. I mean, Magic no, really. Johnson is not alive anymore, because dude. he's just Magic. No, that's not why anymore. They, that's why I called him Magic Johnson. It's because he's well, Magic. That's true. But yeah. now these, you can actually live a fucking complete life. Like, that's true. That's, that's true. That is true. Yeah, Magic Johnson's like allowed to donate blood now. Yeah. And shit. Yeah. Yeah. They call it <laughs> now. Now, <laughs> now Mama <laughs> calls it my Magic blood. Now Magic Johnson's son, on the other hand. Uh, that's a wild deal. I don't know about this. What are you talking about? Shut the fuck up. No, are you kidding me? No, no, right. no. Tell, tell me without looking it I up. Can't, I can't tell you. I just have to show you. Okay. Hang on. Oh, I'm okay. Uh, anyway, keep, I, keep, I, keep talking. Okay. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and go with a uh, violent sex cult. Uh, just because I still don't, I don't want to die uh, of AIDS. That sounds like a very bad time. So there's gonna, magic Johnson's son. <laughs> Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> well, all right. He's uh he's a very nice kid. I actually kind of dig how supportive Magic Johnson is of his family and his kid. Uh, but there's oh. definitely some things going on there. I think so. he went to one too many Siegfried and Roy shows. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Yippee, uh, skippy. You know, I've heard of following in your dad's footsteps. <laughs> but uh, all right. Anyway. Yeah. It's, all right. Uh, anyway. I'm going to be the leader of a sex cult. Yeah. See, I don't know. I've thought it's gonna about be this. a sad, sad, sad I, I, cult. I, you, know, <laughs> you can't hey, be the man. leader of a one person. You all have to wear cult. socks. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to wear socks. I, that's rule number that one. Is that's the, how he loses that's everybody. Yeah. You have to have sex with your yeah, socks right. on, and no one stays. Yeah. They were all gonna drink your the Kool Aid until that's, that. That's the only thing you get when you join the cult is a pair it's just of a pair socks. socks. A grippy, pair of socks, socks. and Kool Aid. They're grippy sex socks. They have pads on the bottom, so that way you can't slip. I don't. But your I, feet stay warm. If I was going to be forced into a violent sex cult, I would get HIV first, <laughs> and then <laughs> then do it. Smart. Then, so yeah. you're going both, and then I'd have my own little AIDS sex cult eventually. <laughs> oh god, damn it! He's silently taking them out one by yeah, one. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I wouldn't, and I would not tell my significant other in the cult. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Keep it a secret. How about you, JP? That was um, a well thought out answer. God dang, I got to go with the sex cult. It's unanimous. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. As a gay person, I'm terrified of AIDS. Yeah? Not so much that I'll use a condom, <laughs> but <laughs> it still worries me. I love it. Right. Oh, That's awesome. my So I'm going God. sex cult. Oh, Lord have mercy. All right. It's unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so very much for being a part of the Laughing on the Sidelines family. Like we always say, the best way to, to support the channel is to obviously leave a like and a comment below. It helps spread the show. We do appreciate that. All of you guys that have been uh, followers for a very, very long time, we appreciate you the most. But keep doing what you're doing, as we always like to say. Oh, no, before I do that, thank you very much, Mr. Steve Peters yeah, and man. Mr. JP. Well, uh, thanks I guess for I'm fucked again. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck me. Uh, but yes, uh, thank you guys so very much. As we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, we hope your areolas grow to the size of <laughs> dinner plates overnight. <laughs> I know her. <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys. Wichita State, go shop. <laughs> until next time, keep laughing, asshole. We will see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>